Hello and welcome to my presentation. I'm Nila Bloom and today I'd like to present you a new method to reduce meta artifacts and CT images by applying a network in the projection domain. One of the major challenges in CT image reconstruction are artifacts and images caused by high density objects, such as metal implants. Although many methods have been developed to reduce these artifacts, they are still not able to completely remove them or they even introduce new ones. Our idea is now to combine new methods of deep learning with the current knowledge of CT image reconstruction. For this purpose, we developed a network which can be applied directly to the corrupted projection data to get the enhanced data already in the projection domain. The network used in this work is a generative adversarial network, which consists of a generator network G and a discriminator network B. The generator receives as an input the projection data with the missing metal trait and the corresponding binary mask. The output of the generator is then used as an input to the discriminator, which assigns probability between 0 and 1, whether it's a real sinogram or a fake sinogram. The generator consists of a two-stage architecture, a chorus network and a fine network. The chorus network makes the first initial chorus prediction which is then used as an input to the fine network. The fine network has so a more complete scene of the image and can make an enhanced prediction. The networks are trained with an adversarial loss, in which G is minimizing the loss function and D is maximizing the loss function. Since training with an adversarial loss is often quite unstable, an additional pixel-based L1 loss was defined over the local area of the corrupted projection data only and over the global area of the complete data range. The networks were trained with 120 simulated sinograms of the XCAT phantom with different parameter settings and random object insertions. The data was separated into training, validation and test data. To generate the input of the networks, the metal objects were segmented in the image domain and then forward projected to obtain the metal trace and the corresponding projection data with the missing image information. Training was then performed with 183,000 training pairs. By using only image patches of a size of 128 times 128 instead of the full 3D sinogram. Over the training process we can see that the results are getting better and better and the output of the generator has more and more image structures. Accordingly, the validation loss for the mean squared error and the structure similarity index is getting better. The results show that the generator network is capable of replacing the missing metal trace in the sinogram extremely well. If you we compare this with the linear interpolation, we can see here some artifacts which are not included in the generator sinogram. Also, if we take a look at the mean squared error and the structure similarity index, we can see that the generator here in blue is outperforming the linear interpolation in red. The same applies for the reconstructed images. Here again, the generator images have less artifacts than the linear interpolation. Also, if we look at the full test data set, we can see that the generator in blue is performing often better than the linear interpolation and the mean value over all the test images is better for the generator than for the linear interpolation. Still some points need to be considered. First, the network should be trained on real clinical data. We should mention here the points of transfer learning and unsupervised learning. Transfer learning means that we train our network first on a large number of simulated data and then refine our network parameters by a smaller number of real clinical data. Also, for real clinical data, the ground truth images are often not available, so unsupervised learning should be tested if it could be applied to our networks. Also, it should be investigated whether a direct mapping from the projection to the image domain could enhance the construction results even further. Also, an integration of the cross projection data into the learning process can help the generator to get more information about the metal trace and to better fill the missing data. 
Thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will also try to answer them in the live sessions.